747 here on this Wednesday morning. You know, you can take years off your appearance without plastic surgery. Yeah, you should talk to your dentist instead. Marianne has more with a dentist who's worked with some famous mouths. This is Dr. Karush Madahi. Okay, drop some names. Go ahead, I'll let you drop some names right now. <laughs> all right, Kathy Griffin and oh. Marisol Nichols. Okay, all right. All right. Now, you uh, talk about some of the habits that we have as we get older that are actually affecting our the look of our face when it's really uh, what we're doing with our mouth and our teeth. Like, for instance, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big teeth clencher. My dentist has talked to me about it. I try to do it uh, to stop doing it, but this is one of the things that you say can affect the way that your face looks. 100%. When you do any type of clenching or grinding, what's going to happen is that the muscles on the side of your jaw is going to start to bulge out over the years, or you may lose the size of your teeth. The length of your teeth may go down as a result of grinding. As a result, your lower one-third of your face is going to get squished. Wow. So a lot of the habits that we have, what are some of the other habits that cause problems with the way our face looks as we age? Let's talk about diet for a second. So when you're looking at someone's face, one of the things that gives the appearance of youthfulness is the whiter teeth. And if the teeth are not white, it could be as a result of diet. Tea, especially green tea, makes your teeth gray. Red wine makes it gray. And these are all a, a sort of an aging effect. Any graying color has an aging effect. So we talk about juicing. A lot of people are doing yeah. juicing. As a result, you get a graying effect on the teeth. Really? And the people that are, eat a lot of almonds, whole almonds, they can also crack teeth and also wear down the teeth. So these are some of the habits that is, is more diet related. Wow, interesting. All right, we've got some before and after pictures to show you how cosmetic dentistry can actually improve the look of your face. So let's uh, put those up and tell us uh, what we're looking at here. Right, okay, so um, we have Kim there, and what she had, she was uh, had a partial that was removable. And when she came to me, she says, you know, I hate my teeth. It's just the way they look. There's a narrow arch to it, and the teeth are uneven, doesn't look right. The color of the teeth was off, and then when we did the after, after we replaced the removable partial with a bridge and now we have the entire smile which is whitened and also proper color proper arch form and gives that same look that she had 20 years ago wow well, it really does make it does change the appearance of her mouth right. even so yeah. in this one you can see that there's a narrow arch where you see black holes on yeah. the side when we did the veneers and we increased the, the arch form, the lip position actually started to change. So the collapsed lip on the side started to come up and now the person has a really proper proportion of upper and lower lip. Are these actually the, the things that you use? Or are these, these are, what I What I use is that this is called the three minute smile that I can use plastic teeth that mm -hmm. I can different sizes, different colors mm -hmm. that I can put with a temporary filling over someone's mouth to check to see how much we want to increase the arch, oh, how I much see. we want to increase okay the length. Oh. So we get a sort of a preview of it before we actually start the work. Oh, I bet that gets people really excited too, as it, soon as they see that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it yeah. Uh, Your book course. is called Anti-Aging Dentistry. Where can people find it? Um, Barnes & Noble, Amazon. It's available in both places. All right. And so it talks about uh, ways that did, uh, uh, cosmetic dentistry can improve your appearance and the things, the habits that we're doing that are making it right. worse. There are different sections. One is about what are the habits and what we can do to prevent it. The second part, it talks about uh, self-evaluation are you a candidate or not and so you can look in the mirror you can take some photos and you can see the changes that are happening in your face and what to do about it and then there is an another area of what actually can be done and what are the options all right wonderful look at that for that it's called anti-aging dentistry dr. Karush Madahi thank you so much for coming in thank Excellent. you Marianne